Money Bunny, it is your girl Rocky. If you are part of the Bunny family, welcome back. I am so happy to see you. And if you're not part of the Bunny family, I am Rocky. I make videos about natural hair, skin, nails, and just overall health and wellness. So if any of those topics interest you, please hit that subscribe button below and become part of the Bunny family because I would love to have you. So disclaimer, my throat hurts today. I am not gonna do a lot of talking, but I just wanna give you a quick little intro on what this video is going to be about. I am going to be using True by Made Beautiful products today. I'm going to be doing a wash and go on my freshly washed hair and I use the True by Made Beautiful intense treatment mask to deep condition my hair. I do have a review on that on my channel so if you haven't seen that make sure you check that out and I am going to be using the True by Made Beautiful line for this entire wash and go. I will have a review for this line coming soon so make sure you stay tuned for that. So I'm tired of talking already. My throat hurts so let's Let's just hop right into this video. I am doing this wash and go on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I still have a plastic cap on because as a low porosity girl, my cuticles don't stay open long. So the plastic cap gives my cuticles the greenhouse effect, which traps the heat in the plastic cap and allows my cuticles to stay open longer and gives my hair a chance to absorb the product. I am doing the shingling method because it gives my hair the best definition, especially when you are using heavier products. You may remember from my wash and go with a melanin hair care that I said I wish I would have shingled because I know my hair would have turned out 10 times better than it did. So if you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. So shingling does take more time, but it definitely pays off. It gives you more definition, but it also gives you a little shrinkage. So be mindful of that. You will experience some shrinkage, which is totally okay. Who cares? Your hair is gonna be coiled and defined and beautiful. So shrinkage, whatever, it's no big deal. I use the True by Made Beautiful Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner and the Hydrating Hair Butter. Then I topped it off with the Wetline Extreme with the green lid. So I'm just going to repeat the same steps. I'm gonna apply the leave-in and then the hair butter. Because the products are thick, I had to really work them in. I eventually had to incorporate my Tangle Teaser to help distribute the products more evenly down my hair. Then I am going to use the Wet Line Extreme and I am going to shingle my hair just to get more definition.
My hair is thoroughly detangled, but the Tangle Teaser helps move the product down my hair strands. So if you are low porosity and you're or and or fine strand and you're using heavier products, use a detangling brush or even a white tooth comb and it will help just move the product along your strands a little bit more just so that it's not all like clumped in one section. It can help distribute it down the hair strands. So that's another tip for my low porosity fine strand girls. But mm, me and thick products, we just don't work like that. But I'm gonna keep doing this wash and go and I'll come back to you with my final results. Okay, so my hair is semi-dried. I wouldn't say it's completely dried. I don't even think it's 80% dry because if I just like, you know, lifted this up right here, you would see, and you can see in the back, it's still white. There's still a lot of areas that are wet, but the outer perimeter is dry. It's dry enough for me to make this recording. My throat hurts a little, so I'm not gonna do too much talking. I know you're probably like, thank God. <laughs> Kidding. So I'm not gonna do too much talking. So I just want to give you my thoughts on this wash and go. So I use the True by Made Beautiful products. I use their leave-in and I use their hydrating hair butter, which I consider to be a cream. So I use the LC method, leave-in, cream, and then I use the gel. So technically I use the LCG method for this wash and go. And as I've mentioned before, my hair doesn't do too well with thick, heavy products because of my porosity. I need to use more lightweight products. But what I like about the True products is they are lightweight to some degree, pretty absorbent as well. And they don't completely weigh my hair down like most heavy products do, especially a hair. <coughs> a hair butter. Hair butters are usually really thick and heavy but for this one the leave-in is pretty lightweight and the hair butter is pretty lightweight so I felt confident layering two products underneath a gel. So the only thing is the wet line extreme. I don't like this gel. I don't know what it is but the way it works in my hair is not cohesive. I know everyone loves it because you don't get flaky and it works well with all products, all that, yada, yada, yada. But it doesn't give me a firm hold. I just feel like I don't like this gel. I would prefer Eco. To be honest with you, I think Eco is a better gel. It gives me a better hold. It works better when I'm applying it to my hair. I just like the consistency of Eco Style Gel better than the Wetline Extreme Gel. If you agree with me, leave me a comment below. If you don't agree with me, leave me a comment below and also let me know like what is your take on this gel versus what is your take on the Eco Styler gel. But yeah, this is the final look from this wash and go. I like the actual look, but I didn't like the gel. 
Like I said, my hair has grown in density, so I've accepted the fact that most of my styles will end with me having big hair, and I'm falling in love with it more and more each time I do a wash and go, so I'm pleased to announce that I've accepted my density fully accepted my density and I am happy with the results of my big wash and goes at this point. I am going to continue using different gels, stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to run back to Eco Styler even though it does do me right. But yeah, so I have a lot more reviews to do for you, a lot more trials to go through, and a lot to share with you. So make sure you are subscribed and you stay tuned. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to me because I'd love to have you. But until next time, see ya!